Hey folks, welcome to Bear Mountain. We're live at the bunker. Well, okay, maybe that's too much over the top. But what we want to talk today about is a little bit about some of your own food security, what you can do in your place. And one of the topics that we're going to talk about today is dried beans. So stay tuned. What we're doing today is now that things are kind of changing with uh, availability of, of things uh, because of the pandemic, we decided to do a little test. We um, use some beans and things, you know, for like you making soups or you're making chilies or things of that nature. Dried beans are a great source of protein as well as, um, you know, kind of a sustaining carbohydrate if you need them. As many of you know, we're a flower farm, at least that's basically what we've been doing. But we also on the side for our own personal consumption, raise a fair amount of our own veg. And this year with the uncertainty going on with the pandemic, um, we're trying to kind of intensify that a bit more just to put a little more food in our larder for the winter time. One of the things that um, we've never really raised before but we, we have used our dried beans. Dried beans are a great source of protein. They're also a great source of carbohydrate. Um, so what we did is we said, let's raise some dried beans this year. So we went into our favorite seed catalogs where they sold dried beans and went online and bada bing, everything sold out. We're a little so late to the We to got the a little party. late to the party on that. So we started scratching our heads and doing a little research on the internet and figured out, well, what could we do that would give us some dried beans? We had some kidney beans and some great northern white beans and some pinto beans that we had left over that we bought in a bulk bin. And we wondered, well, these are just dried beans. Maybe they will germinate um, like a regular seed. So we weren't sure if these were treated or not. And so what we wanted to do, um, you know, if they're irradiated, they won't germinate because they don't want them to sprout and all that kind of things. So what we did is we said, okay, let's set up a seed germination test. And what we did is we took a sample uh, uh, out of each of these bags. And then we decided, well, let's take it a step further. What would be the effect of just trying to germinate them in a, you know, a controlled human environment? you know, dampen bean seed and see how it would germinate uh, versus taking that same seed and using Korean natural farming seed enhancing solution called SES uh, to treat the seed before we put it into trying to sprout it for germination. So we decided to set up a test of both. Okay, so the first step that we had to do is we had to mix up some SES seed enhancing solution. And the three components to it are uh, Fermented plant juice, FPJ, and this is our comfrey version. Brown rice vinegar, which you can buy commercially. You can get that most any stores or Asian market stores. And our own made uh, oriental herbal nutrient, which is a tinctured extract of garlic, ginger, cinnamon, licorice, and angelica. Those components together uh, complete OHN. The OHN is used as an antipathogen, in other words, to help prevent funguses and things like that growing on seeds. The brown rice vinegar is kind of a bioactivant. Uh, in other words, it will help uh, plant tissues absorb the uh, enzymes and growth hormones and etc. in the FPJ. So the three of these guys working together will help once you soak the seed, uh, will help it um, germinate better and theoretically uh, be more vigorous. So when we mix up the F the FPJ, when we mix up the seed enhancing solution, what we did is we started with a half a liter, which is basically um, about two cups, if you're using American measurements, uh, two cups of water, and the ratios of these things are. For this level of, of, of water, you would use one milliliter of FPJ, one milliliter of the brown rice vinegar, and a half a milliliter of the 
uh, OHN. So the way to do this would be to say, if you're using American uh, measurements, is a scant quarter teaspoon of each of these guys and an eighth of a teaspoon of the OHN. That in this liquid then is used to soak the seeds. So let's show you how we soak the seeds. Okay, this is a, a sample of what we did. This is a great white northern bean. You can kind of see they're nice and dry. Um, we have our mixed up SES solution. And all we're gonna do for the sample is we're just gonna pour enough of this SES solution to kind of coat the top, you know, fill up the, the bowl a little bit to the, just, just so there's enough to coat the seeds. You don't need a whole bunch. And so the, the solution is coated the seeds and it will sit in this solution and absorb the rest of the moisture and the solution uh, for 45 minutes to an hour. So, I mean, it's not an exact science, um, but about that long, most of the SES solution that's in the bowl should probably be gone and absorbed into the beans. If at that point, you'll know it's ready to go. If you screw up and you forget and you say, oh my God, it's an hour and 15 minutes, it's not gonna kill anything. Um, just try to get to it. You don't want these things to go so far to the point where they hydrate up and the skin start to split and all that sort of thing. So you want to kind of target that 45 minutes to an hour for this size of seed. If you're using this SES, just as a side note, SES to soak smaller seeds, it's much less time. So an example, something like a carrot seed, you might only soak it for maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes just enough to get it into the seed itself. The smaller the seed, the less the time. The bigger the seed, the tougher the coat on the seed, the longer the time. You gotta kinda of use your judgment and just kinda of watch and see how things are absorbed. Okay, we did um, the two soak comparisons. We soaked the beans in the SES solution, and I decided to do a little bit of experiment to see what would be the impact if I soaked the SES too long. So when I did, I did two SES uh, treatments, one for 45 minutes and the other for two hours, just to see, you know, if it'd make a difference in the seed, you know, like if you go too long with the SES, it kills everything, uh, which we'll find out here if it made any difference. And then as a control, we just said, um, we use no SES solution. We simply um, dampen the seeds in water, uh, same amount of time and then put them in to, um, it was roughly 40 minutes, and then we put in a damp paper towel. Each of these guys were wrapped in a damp paper towel uh, three days ago, and then uh, we just, to control humidity, just kind of sealed them up with some saran wrap. So today is the big reveal. What you see in the front here, these two plates here are our Great Northern. That was what the bean was when it started drying. Um, these two plates over here are red kidney bean, and that's what they look like dried. And then over here we have the pinto bean, and that's what it looked like dried. So we're going to start with um, the great northern white, uh, and we're going to look at the control first, which is what we call uh, no SES. The big reveal, a great northern, starting with the uh, no seed enhancing solution, we're going to see how many sprouted uh, or how many were damaged, and we'll do a count here. Now, the best I can tell is this one was damaged, even though it sprouted, it split itself in half, which is probably not going to be a viable plant. There's one there, looks like two. I got two and maybe a start of a third one. So after three days, I got roughly 30 to 40% germination off of that. Not really that great. So let's go over here and check with the seed enhancing solution and see where things end up on this. This first group I'm undoing was the uh, ones that were uh, soaked for two hours. And we'll see how they did in the SES solution. Uh, looks like we might have a little damage on those ones too. Sometimes the beans maybe get cracked, but that germinated there. So that may again be a defective plant, but you know, I got one, two, three, four, five. 
that one's starting, that won't count it. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so I got eight out of 10 on that one and four out of 10 on the non-treated. And when you look at the treated ones, the roots are actually pretty robust, pretty good size for starting. So they're even a little bigger than the roots on the non-treated. So that was with two hours. So let's see what happens with just 45 minutes. Still, well, this looks really good. That one didn't check. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 10. So 45 minutes seemed to work pretty good, but two hours wasn't bad either. So somewhere in between there, around an hour, is probably going to do the job. So what we're looking at here is 80 to 90% germination rate on the Great Northern with SES and 40% without. That's pretty impressive. So let's go check the other guys. Okay, the red kidney beans next. We're gonna start with the no seed enhancing solution. See how many germinated? Okay, I can see right away well, that one split. No seed thing there, no germination on that, none on that. We got small, fairly you know, developing roots on this one, two, three, four. Looks like four. Again, about 40%. It may be a little more in another day or two, but it's roughly 40% on that, guys. So we'll go check out the SES. Again, this is the two hour solution. Soaking. How well did these do? Not really terribly much better. We got one, two, three, four. Looks like another one starting there, five. Looks like we got about 50% on that one. That's two hours. And let's check the 45 minute one and see how that one did. Whoa, much better. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten germinated. Look at the size of the root development difference put, between the two. Put the bean up by the other bean. Yeah, let's put the other bean up by the other bean. Okay, this 45 minute treatment with SES, this with just plain dampening the bean and then putting it into germination test. Look at the difference in root development. And it's pretty consistent across. Some of them are even bigger than that. Here's another one, okay? And here's another one without treatment. Look at the difference in vitality. This is amazing. It's 45 minutes. Worked pretty well on that one. Let's check the last group here. We'll start with the Pintos. Okay, we got some germination on these guys. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. That one splits, not gonna do anything. That one looks like a dud. So that one might be a bad test. So it looks like six out of nine, roughly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, excuse me, seven out of nine. That's pretty good. That's the highest germination yet on any of the dried beans without any treatment. So now let's check out, this is the SES treatment at two hours. Let's see how many we got on the Pinto beans. Um, they don't look that good. Not two hours, I think was too much. Mm. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven out of 10. Um, they look pretty good in the non ones. The root treatment here looks like it maybe might've been too much. Let's check out the 45 minute. Wow, 
Wow, okay. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we got nine, and this one here, I'm not sure what happened to it. Doesn't look like it's gonna do anything. So you got 90% here and 60% over there. So let's just take out and compare size. Let's just take two of our random guys here from the SES treatment at 45 minutes. And this one here, actually let me put it on the left side so it's the left of it. These look like the best examples from the other one. Um, could go either way. Could go either way with that one. But definitely 45 minutes, it's you got a higher germination rate, but the rate of growth at this point looks really similar. In a general sense though, what I'm, look, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing high germination rates at 45 minutes and more consistency on um, the actual vigor of the plant itself. So I think what this is telling us is, yes, you can use bulk dried beans. Um, you need to test them because you don't know what kind of treatment they might have been through. Um, these appear to have no treatment whatsoever. So if you got them out of an organic bin, that'd you, be better. That'd be better if you can find them. Uh, <laughs> in this case, I think you know we're going to get a good selection of pinto, great northern white, and kidney bean. Uh, to raise in our garden this year. So this is a pretty cool experiment. We definitely see a difference using the KNF uh, seed enhancing solution. And I think that's what we're gonna do. So when we plant our dried beans out, which would be in May, we are gonna do a definite uh, pre-treatment with the KNF solutions. We also proved that the seed that we had left over from our bulk bin purchases earlier is viable to make a good plant. Um, what we don't know is specific varietal information. In other words, is these going to be climbing bean plants, uh, indeterminate bush type plants or what? So that will be an interesting challenge. And we'll do a follow up on that just to see how these guys are growing. Um, but it's a good first step. And that's what we wanted to show here today. So if you have something in your pantry, there is a way uh, to make something out of it for your garden. Important disclaimer. I'm not an expert. We raise flowers normally. This is new for us, totally new. But what we wanted to know was, would they even germinate? And they did. So I wanna thank you guys for watching today and appreciate any kind of uh, support you give us. The thumbs ups are always appreciated. And you guys, I hope everybody stays self safe and healthy during this period. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a turbulent times for a while. And we'll kind of post more as we uh, start to actually grow these things for the garden, just to kind of see how they're going along. So this will be kind of an interesting project to follow. So I want you all to have a healthy, happy, and good day. Bye. Bye.